Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif urged the Saudi Arabian government not to escalate tensions in the two countries' relations and in the region. Zarif made the comments during a joint press conference with his Iraqi counterpart Ibrahim al Jafari in Tehran on Wednesday. The Iranian foreign minister said conflicts among the regional states will not serve the interests of any country but to embolden the terrorism and extremism. Zarif emphasized that instead of getting entangled with tension, it is better for all the regional countries unite against extremism, terrorism and sectarianism. But the foreign minister acknowledged that the recent attacks on Saudi Arabia's embassy in Iran are regrettable incidents and not acceptable. On Saturday, violence erupted at the Saudi Arabian embassy in Iranian capital Tehran following the execution of the Shiite cleric announced by Sunni-dominated Saudi Arabia. Riyadh cut off diplomatic relations with Tehran on Sunday after the attacks, which was followed by Bahrain and Sudan. On Wednesday, according to Qatari state-run media, Qatar recalled its ambassador to Iran to protest against the recent attack on the embassy of Saudi Arabia. On Saudi Arabia and Iran's tension, our CNC correspondent interviewed experts of Egypt's Al Ahram Center for Political and Strategic Studies, Yusri Al Azabawi. Al Azabawi said five reasons led to the crisis between Saudi Arabia and Iran. There are a lot of reasons that led to the problems between Iran and Saudi Arabia. First is the execution of Shia leader Sheikh Nimr al Nimr. Another reason of this conflict is the war in Yemen, and then Saudi Arabia joined the fighting against Houthis, which are supported by Iran. The third reason is about Syria, because Saudi Arabia and other Gulf countries have a different vision with Iran's. The last reason is the conflict over power and relationship in the Middle East, which has led to the inevitable confrontation between the two countries. Al Azabawi pointed out that there is limited possibility for a war between Saudi Arabia and Iran. I think there will be a confrontation between the two countries in Syria, Yemen and Iran, but there won't be an open war between the two countries, because the losses will be huge and the situation in the Middle East is very tense. Al Azabawi said Saudi Arabia and Iran's crisis will have a broad influence on the Middle East countries. I think what happened between Saudi and Iran has affected the Arab countries by inflaming sectarian passions in the region. And some Shias in Iraq has also started to curse Al Saud family. There are also some Shias in the region holding demonstrations against Saudi Arabia and some other countries which support Saudi Arabia, for example Egypt, which wouldn't work with Tehran in the near future. Perhaps the sectarian conflict in Yemen, Syria and Lebanon will develop.